girls, it's Kat and I am back for another video. I have been trying to find a place to film where the light's okay because I was going to film it earlier when it was daylight but it's nighttime now and um, you know the lighting situation, those of you who make videos and it's got this like thing that I have my iPad on and it's like getting weird shadows. So this is the best that I can do for right now. I did have this my little mirror thing here and I tried to get it to like stay on because this could like act as like a little mini ring light <laughs> but it won't stay on whenever it's gone away someplace it goes off so I wish it would stay on if you wanted it to stay on it could be like a little mini ring light anyways I wanted to come back I haven't done a video like this like an update video for so long and I've really really missed it I've really missed you girls I really really have and every time I try to go sit down to make a video it was like you kind of almost forget how to make a video and not how but you don't get nervous per se but you kind of you're not in your you're not your groove anymore you know you don't get that YouTube swagger that you kind of became accustomed to before whatever that actually means whatever okay see that now that part right there should be edited out if and I knew how to edit it out and I don't know how to edit it out so I'm edited it out edited it out edited it out so I'm just gonna like do this video right now and just give you an update let all that stuff stay in and let you girls have a laugh at it anyways okay today is um, the Friday before Father's Day so happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there who may be listening all of you mothers who have to act like fathers because they may not have the men in your life um, happy Father's Day to you coming up and if you have your father still in your life, just cherish every moment that you have. Really, really, because Father's Days are very, very difficult when you don't have yours. So cherish every moment. Um, I wanted to do an update. Well, first I'll guess I'll update you on my, um, what should I do first? See, it's been like a long time. I hope I'm staying in here. <laughs> my husband was just here for a couple of days. He's been back and down here. Um, one time he was here for three weeks. And um, then he just kind of flew down for a couple of days. Totally surprised me. Well, I knew before he was coming in, but it was it was a surprise, you know, like a half a day beforehand. And I was really happy that he had to just fly back because he's just really, really, really super busy. So I was happy about that. We got to go down to Pier Park here, and they had some special events going on, so we enjoyed that. And everything is just beautiful here. Every day is just a paradise, really. The weather has been just splendid. I spend... The day is basically at the beach a lot. I go to the beach a lot. I've been reading a lot of books. It's just so nice to like not have to do anything. This is the first summer that I haven't had any part of, um, of the business. I haven't been doing anything in it. It's a girl who has been hired who does my job for me now, but she does a much better job than I did actually. So I'm really happy about that. Anyways, Okay, so updates on my weight loss. I'll do that first. Uh, to this day right now, as of this morning, I have lost 81 pounds since, and it's been just right at six, six months that I've had the surgery. It was the end of November. So just right at six months? No, seven months? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Seven months, I yeah, yay, seven months, and I've lost 80 pounds. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, it's been slower lately and I have to, I guess, I know what happens. I know that you have to, I, I like losing it slower like this and it's steady. It will go a couple of weeks and it'll kind of hit the same number and go up a pound and down and then all of a sudden it'll be down like five pounds. And this is kind of how this works. My weight right now is 257. For all of those who are curious out there, yes, I did put on a lot of weight since I did a, a weight loss video before when I had weighed in. I was surprised when I weighed in before surgery at how much I had gained. Um, it's very easy. So I'm glad I kind of nipped that in the bud while I could because, you know, as much as I can have control over everything else in my life, food is, is a thing that you naturally just, it's the hardest thing to make a habit. And I even make, I make a habit now out of, I drink all of my water more than I have to in a day. It's so, it's easy for me. I'm chugging along, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to. And then it's all of a sudden, I wanted to try that s'mores frappuccino that Leanne Live had mentioned. So I tried one with my, with my husband was here a couple times ago, or last time, and I, I had a small one because I, you know, I, I wanted to try it and I couldn't 
whole of those liquids anyways and I loved it and then the next day I got another one and the third day I said okay this is it and I had it and I didn't do another one after that but I see how easy that would be to go back into that pattern and that's what I was doing before because still my stomach was still smaller but I was able to maintain that high weight and put on some because I was eating crap and I was eating a lot of you know liquid calories with high calorie frappuccinos you know just drinking those things down it's just like sugar and a lot of things with this weight loss surgery seems like I know so much more now than I did before but certain things affect you differently like you only absorb a, uh, a percentage of protein but you absorb like a hundred percent of the of the simple carbs so when you're doing that you're getting it all you're not not absorbing any you know so when you eat stuff like the sugar and things you're you're getting it all you're absorbing it all so anyways so I've been doing that and I've been walking every morning on the beach I am going to be hiring a personal trainer I watched a few videos on YouTube of kind of the workouts with the personal trainer and I've really been like I don't know it's kind of like one of those aha moments of like ah you know before I was like I know what to do I, I know the motions I just can't get motivated to stay with it I, I you know whatever but now when I see that they really they are like you're a life coach and they are motivating you on as you do it and getting you to push through the pain or push through and do more and it was seriously like an epiphany like this is what I need I need somebody there to kind of just walk me through it and to be your coach and maybe if I do that for say the rest of the summer then I'll get a kind of a habit with that but I'm hiring a personal trainer and I've talked to two of them and I got a third one that I've been messaging back and forth with but I'm hoping to get one that can just work me out on the beach here since I have such easy access to it and I love it so maybe really early mornings or right before sunset and kind of get that when it's not busy there because there's really nobody on the beach then you know maybe a couple people who are out there just watching it but really not and it's better weather then so I would love that and just even walking through the sand and doing the exercises in the sand is like an exercise in and of itself so anyways that was that so and thank you for the messages that I've gotten I just found messages that I had got that had went to my junk folder on YouTube I don't know why I think I had I had junked one junk message that should have been junk like a long time ago and that made I mean I have so many I'm embarrassed by how many that I have I mean most of them are going to my junk folder and I'm like for a while I'm like oh nobody's reaching out to me like they don't care and then I'm like oh my gosh there they are they're all there so I'm going to be getting back to all of you who kindly messaged me I really really appreciate that so okay that was that condo update I will do I promise you with this week I will do a, I'll have a uh, my other camera and I'll do a walkthrough of the whole thing of what we got done so far we did have some furniture you can see kind of uh, we bought this um we did go with the white I know my husband's like we're gonna be renting this house in the winter honey do you want to be putting this stuff in there that you know <laughs> you don't want renters but I'm gonna be renting to like a nice Canadian or Minnesotan Midwestern snowbirds who are gonna be just nice to their stuff hopefully anyways we got this white leather couch and kind of like chair and a half and ottoman and then we got some stuff from Z gallery got that vase back there from from pier one the tables were from Horchow the end table was from Horchow um, we got just some extra stuff like like this I got this from either Horchow or Neiman's I love Horchow and Neiman's for their fake for their faux floral arrangements I know they're like a little bit more pricey but they're really 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 nice so that's the update on that let's see what else can I update you on really it's just kind of been really a nice summer so far it was um I'll be honest it was really hard the first part of May I didn't think it was gonna be so hard the first part of May I have two big anniversaries there my father passed away May 4th of last year and my mother passed away May 7th of 2009 and my birthday is May 8th so it's kind of like I thought I was really hard handling my mother's anniversary the day before my birthday because it just it, it just bring back to that moment it just even if you can try to like think through it and go okay you're stronger than this cat just you know use your mind your willpower but it doesn't really always work and then the, the, my dad I just kind of was you know pe my friends were like saying are you gonna be okay do you want to be alone are you gonna be okay I'm like yeah this is fine you know it's not gonna change it he's it, you know it's I, I mourn every day but it was hard it was really hard so 
I got through that. You know, we all, I think I, I just watched, and I didn't comment on her video today, but because I was just busy doing other stuff as I was watching it, but I watched Susie Clancy's video, and she was talking about how, you know, you watch people on here, and you think that they live this life that's all just great and glamorous and everything's perfect, but it's not. I mean, people don't show you the, the struggles that everybody goes through. You know, everybody, everything is relative. There's always going to be somebody who has more money than you, who is, um, you know, has maybe all of their family are talking and it's all a beautiful relationship and they're thin and they're, you know, it's, there's always going to be somebody who is not you. So you got to think of it kind of like that. But just to know that anybody who watches it, I always think about that on Facebook too when I see posts that, I don't know, it's kind of weird because it's like you only show that side of yourself. You know, you don't show, although I tend to kind of let all myself out there, I'm kind of one of those people who just, I say it like it is. I'm not one of those people that really try to kind of pretend that it's all one way. But I know that what it could appear to people that people have these charmed lives and it's just not that way. It's, and you know, having stuff doesn't make you happy having more things doesn't you know so anyways and just so so Susie I, I saw the video it was very very touching and I know that you're not a person who likes pity and stuff and this is not pity it's not that kind of a thing but you did make it through that surgery and you have been so blessed with that more so than some of the other friends that you have from your vampire club who may not have made it through so there's a reason for you to be here and we're just cheering you on. And this is not a pity little message. It was just, I just was touched by that video today. So anyways, um, and I will, when I get the stuff, um, so I forget how to talk. When I get all of the stuff that I want to write in the, in the down stuff, you know, the stuff, the comment stuff whatever it's called, I will link that video below. See, it's total like mind freeze things. I'm going to come back and I'm going to be doing another video because I've got some favorites that I want to show you. Some good favorites. I, um, just things that I'm loving right now. I have so much stuff to haul that it's kind of like, again, with seeing videos like that, it kind of makes me feel guilty for hauling all the stuff because it's not like that. You know, I'm not trying, okay. See, there I'm going on again. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video makes sense to you. And I'm going to come back. That was a little update. I'm so glad to be back. I hope to be making so many more videos. Really, like you're going to get sick of seeing me, I swear. And I have company coming, a bunch of company coming. So anyways, I hope you are having a very blessed summer so far. Let me know what you're doing so far and what your plans are for this summer. And the 4th of July for us Americans coming up. I love that holiday. I love it. It's just so patriotic. Um, oh, and where I'm at right now, I got to mention that too. So I got to just give you a little feeling because I wanted to be, say, to be saying that. My husband was a little bit leery about coming to this area in Panama City Beach because it was kind of referred to before as the Redneck Riviera. And when he heard that, he was kind of like, uh, do we want to go there? And then kind of researching in the closest synagogue is like is a Chabad and Chabads are basically everywhere, but it's in Destin, which is not here. It's, you know, a little bit away from here. So it's kind of like, there's no synagogues. What's it going to be like? Is it going to be all like, you know, white trash rednecks, who are all racist and whatever. I'm just keeping it real. This is what we thought because we have not spent a lot of time. I've spent a lot of time in Florida, but it's usually down in Miami or Boca. It's not where we are right now because we're really close to the Southern states up there in the panhandle. Anyways, I could, we both couldn't have been more wrong. The most beautifully lovely people, lovely, lovely, every, each and every one of them that I have met so far, so polite. You know, you walk across the street because we're across the street from the beach and they will stop their cars for you. It's like so nice. And they're just very nice. They don't treat you like, oh, you're just some Yankee when you're coming down here. If you treat them with respect, like you are, whenever we go to any other different place, a different country, you treat them like people were, when we went to France before, people were saying, oh, the Parisians, they're very, they're very stuck up. They won't like you. But if you treat them with respect and know that you're a person in their country and you kind of change your ways and try to acclimate more, we had a beautiful time. I mean, people were really nice. And down here, I'm telling you, they are so polite. The men are so total gentlemen. I completely get that Southern. And if you're from the South and if you go someplace else, I see how it would be very hard to leave the South because they're just so polite. So nice. 
I'm going to turn away from all the good cooking that I see going on down here. I did try the boiled peanuts. I was okay with the boiled peanuts. My husband hated them, but they're all over the place. I mean, every little convenience store has the boiled peanuts, and I, no, not a fan. I, it's okay. I, I wish I could be eating like I did before because I love grits, and whenever you go into any place, it's like grits is on the restaurant menu, just like in Minnesota, you would, on the menu would be, I don't know, not biscuits, I guess dinner bread or something. But here the sides is like, what, what do you want? Grits and this? You want grits and this? And so it's cool. I love it. I really, really love it. And so anyways, and it's just, it's, I'm going to start probably having the accent soon too. I can see that coming on because I'm like, I always say like, hi to people. And it's like, you know, they're like saying howdy or hey. And so I, like I'm going, I don't want to like stick out and go like, hi, you know, or whatever. Okay. But that was my opinion of um, the South so far. Loving it. Really loving it. And very patriotic. Love that part about it a lot. There's a lot of American flags. Every night on the beach here, they're laying off fireworks. There's a gentleman that goes out there every day who has his POW flag and his American flag that he takes the time and he puts those flags out on the beach when he's out there with his wife. And very pig. And when the there's uh, military around here, and so when the helicopters fly above, and you can see it's a military helicopter when you're out on the beach, everybody stops and stands and like gives their respect. And I'm just like, this is so cool. This is not how it would be in, you know, Arizona, which I love too. But it's just nice that everybody is very patriotic and love that. So anyways, that's an update on that. I'm going to come back to you with some holes. I've got holes of stuff that I've got that I want to show you things I like, things I don't like, um, things I really like I'm going to show you next. So until then, keep living your most glamorous life. Take care. Bye-bye.